we got some rational expressions. Multiplication division with rational expressions. So uh, we're going to go ahead and multiply, and we're going to see what cancels. That's kind of the name of the game with multiplication of these rational expressions. Uh, so notice here we have 24 over 6. Right, Everything is being multiplied, so that just cancels. It gives us a 4 over 1 there. And then got, notice we also have x squared over x squared. So those will cancel. So we're left with 4 times 4, 16 over 1. So I just got 16. This is similarly, all right? And I'll have you guys try some of these. So notice the 50 over 5. These is with 10, right? And now notice we also have 10 over 10. So those are gone. And we got an x plus y on the top. We got an x plus y quantity squared on the bottom. So one of those factors will cancel, right? We have two of those on the bottom. So one cancels there, and we have one left over on the bottom. So what do we have left? We have a 2 on the top, and it looks like all we got in the bottoms now is just that x plus y. So we got 2 over x plus y is all we got. All right, I'm going to have you guys try these two and pause it. Check yourself, see how you did there. Pause it if you need to. And now let's look at that second one as well. Should end up with that 2 over C plus D. All right, the next, uh, next one's here. We're going to have to go ahead and factor these. So if you notice the 11x minus 22, I can take an 11 out of that. And then I've also got this 35. I've got this 49. Down here I can take a 55 out. And I have x minus 2. Now, again, everything is being multiplied, so let's just see what cancels. x minus 2, x minus 2, looks like those cancel. And then uh, 11 over 55. With both those going to 11, so that's one fifth. And then now we've got, let's see, we got 49 over 35 and 5. And then 49 and 35 both go into 7. So it looks like we end up with 7 over 25 for this one. Similarly on this one, then I'll have you guys try one. Take a 14 out of that. Let's see, if I take a, let me take a 21 out, and I would have 5 minus x. Now, notice that 5 minus x is pretty darn close to the x minus 5. So I should have taken a negative 21 out instead on that. So here, let's go ahead and write what we have here. I have 14x minus 5. I have a 5. I have a negative 4x. And then here, I'm going to take a negative 21 out right here instead of a 21. If I take a negative 21 out, then I'll have negative 5 plus x. See how that's the same as x minus 5? So that x minus 5, bless you, will cancel with that x minus 5. So now we got 14, we got a 5, and we got a negative and negative. That's a positive, so 4x and a 21. Notice 14 over 4 will give us 7 over 2. So now we got a 7, 5, I got a 21, and a 2, and an x. And 7 over 21 is 1 third. So we got 5 over 3x. Finally, at the end on 
on that one. Huh? Wait, I just get the five to begin with on the right side. Uh, which one are you looking at? I'm sorry. Um, this got 21. 14x minus 5, I got 8. Oh my gosh, I changed that. Ah, that's an 8. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Ugh. 8, 8, 8. Eight and then eight over two is four. Good grief. Thank you. Yep, sorry about that. Yes, we got four over two X. Thank you. All right, you guys go ahead and try this one now. I'll pause it, give you a second. Go ahead and compare yourself to that. There you factor of the ten X minus four. You could take a two out of both of those. On the in the denominator that five X plus ten, you can take a five out of both of those. So you know, 5x minus 2 is cancels, the 5 is cancel, so I'm left with that. All right, this uh, 5x minus 15, I'm going to go ahead and factor that. So I take a 5 out of each of those. And I have 11x times, and notice this x squared minus 2x minus 15, that'll, that'll factor into x minus 5x plus 3. And then x squared minus 9, that's difference of squares. x minus 3, x plus 3. And let's see what cancels. x plus 3, x plus 3 cancels. x minus 3, x minus 3 cancels. So it looks like we have a 5 plus you an x minus 5. And we've got an 11x. And that's it. Plus you. Similarly on this one, you just want to start factoring this thing. So that factors x plus 3, x minus 1. Again, backwards FOIL on this. That x squared plus x minus 6, that'll factor into x plus 3, x minus 2. This is all being multiplied by, now I'm doing x squared plus 3x minus 10. x squared plus 3x minus 10, so that'll be plus 5 minus 2. And then that x squared plus 6x plus 5, that'll be plus 1 plus 5. Now everything's being multiplied, let's see what cancels. x plus 3, x plus 3 cancels. Looks like I have x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels. I've got x plus 5, x plus 5 cancels. So it looks like we're just left with uh, x minus 1 over x plus 1 on this one. Right. Let's go ahead and have you guys try this one. Let me pause it here. See how you did on that. Should end up with x minus 2 or x plus 9. Go ahead and pause that if you need to. But let's go on and move into dividing rational expressions. So when you're dividing rational expressions, expressions, sorry, you want to have one denominator, or sorry, one fraction over one fraction. And if you do, you can go ahead and keep change flip. Right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of x over 35. So 35 over x. Well, if I do it to the denominator, I got to do it to the numerator as well. So I'm multiplying this whole thing by 35 over x over 35 over x. In other words, I'm multiplying it by 1, right, and I'm not changing it. But what happens is it'll simplify because it'll just give us the 1 on the bottom, and then this will become... 7x times 35, numerator, times 5, times x. And then if you notice, these x's will cancel. And not only that, but you have 35 over 5. That'll give you 7. So this ends up being 7 times 7, 49, all over 1. Let's go ahead and have you guys try that one right there, similar fashion. Go ahead and compare your... Notes there should end up with 12 on that. Now notice this one down below. We again we've got one fraction over one fraction, so we can go ahead and keep change flip again. We can multiply by the reciprocal denominator. So 7x minus 35. And I know it's not factored yet, we'll get to that. So we've got a one 
there. So this ends up being 15x. And then I've got 7x minus 35. I'm going to take a 7 out of that. There's my 7x minus 35. And then I've got this x minus 5. And I've got this 3x squared. And now let's see what else cancels. I have an x minus 5, x minus 5. See how that cancels nicely for us? And I've got, there, let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I got 15, I got 7, I got x, and I got 3x squared. So notice 15 over 3 will leave us with 5, and then x over x squared, that's going to leave us with 1x on the bottom. So this just ends up being 5 times 7, 35, all over x. Bless you. So 35 all over x. This one similarly, and we'll also want to factor as well. But notice we have one fraction over one fraction. So we can go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal, top and bottom. So we've got 12x, x plus 8. We got x squared minus 64. I'm going to go ahead and factor that. That's x minus 8, x plus 8. And then I've got that 15x as well. Now notice x plus 8s are going to cancel for me. And notice I also have a 12x and a 15x. Those x's will cancel. And then 12 over 15, both of those will go into 3. And so we're left with a 4 is all we have on the top, and then a 5 and an x minus 8. And then let me have you guys try that next one. Just go ahead, check yourself on that. Pause it if you need to. Can I check? I have one fraction equaling one fraction, so we'll go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. And I know this is not factored yet. I'll get to the I'll, I'll get to that. So we have two x seven x plus twenty one. I'll factor I'll factor that in just a second. I have x squared minus nine. That'll factor as well. And that six x minus thirty will factor. So again, let's go ahead and get the factors now. Two x factor a seven out x squared minus 9 factors into x minus 3, x plus 3. 6x minus 30 factors a 6 out. And now let's see what we have to cancel. x plus 3, x plus 3, that's gone. Um, 2 over 6, that 2 over 6, that's 1 third. All right, 1 third. And it looks like I might be stuck right there. I have a 7 on the top. I have a 3 on the bottom. I have an x minus 3. I have an x minus 5. What about the x on top? Yes. Where did I miss that? Good call. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Good call. Good call. Again, check if you got uh, fra one fraction over one fraction again. Yes, we do. It's a complex fraction. So again, multiply by the reciprocal. So we're multiplying by And now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm, I'm going to also factor x squared plus 9x plus 20. So I get x plus 4, x plus 5. There's my x squared plus 9x plus 20. On the bottom of that, I have x squared minus 9x plus 20. So that'll be x minus 4, x minus 5. Okay. Now x squared minus x minus 20, that'll factor into... Uh, x minus 5, x plus 4. And now I'm going to factor x squared plus x minus 20. So that'll be x plus 5, 
x minus 4. Again, make sure you check in your factorization by foiling it back and making sure, right? With that backwards foil. Now I'm going to cancel my x plus 5. See how those cancel? That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Anything else? x minus 5. Good. And I think that's it. So I got, got x plus 4 quantity squared. Two of those. And on the bottom I got two of these x minus 4s. Or you can even say it this way, since they're both squared, you can also say it this way. That whole thing is squared, right? In other words, the numerator squared and the denominator squared. Either of those, of course, would be acceptable. I'm going to pause this and let you guys work through that one. Let me check yourself on that one. Make sure you factor that correctly and cancel terms. And again, everything's being multiplied. You multiply by that reciprocal first, right? That's that first step I did. Multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. Now go ahead and try this one. This next you try it. So, go ahead and check that. Make sure you're good to go. Set so if you need to. And start this next one. All right, go ahead and check yourself on that one, and then let's keep going with this one. Uh, notice this one down below. We have one fraction on the top. because We can just go ahead and multiply this. And so here's my one fraction on the top. And it's divided by that x squared minus 16 over x squared plus 6x. We can go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. So we have x plus 4, x plus 7, we have x plus 6, x minus 4. I'm going to go ahead and factor x squared plus 6x. I can take an x out of those. I'm going to factor that x squared minus 16. And I'm going to see what cancels here. x plus 4, x plus 4. And is that it? Oh, x plus 6 x plus 6. So we're left with x, x plus 7 over x minus 4 squared. There's two of those. And this last one's just a you try it. Go ahead and check yourself on that last one right there. Make sure you're good to go. Pause if you need to and thanks for watching.